Nicholson. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another episode of Wise. I said that wrong. Let's try that again. Welcome back to another episode of Wise Words on a Wednesday with Craig. I'm Craig, so welcome back. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss another episode. I've got the knowledge that you want if you want gains, if you want weight loss, and um, yeah, I'm spreading it out on Wednesday. So. Stay tuned. If you do like this video at the end of the video, please smash that like button. If you like it before it even began, like it, like, like, I really appreciate it. But before I get started into the topic of today, I want you to know that I am not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, I am not a health practitioner, I am merely an individual who is knowledgeable in this area of expertise I would say and I'm going to be spitting out knowledge that I have acquired so that you are able to make an informed decision um, based on the knowledge that I give you you don't have to listen to someone who's just trying to sell you something trying to make science fun you don't have to go re research a boring study you can just watch me and get the information so I'm not gonna be selling you products I am going to be explaining the supplement itself so topic today is whey protein where it comes from what it is when you should use it which you should use like the different types isolate hydrolysate and concentrate I'll get to the big word soon and is it really worth it okay so I've got my trusty notepad over here on the cell phone and we are going to get started so clock is running and I'm gonna babble on so okay first off whey protein where is it coming from well Milk is made up of two proteins, or has two proteins, and those two proteins are casein and whey. Whey protein, you, it's not whey, it's whey protein, can be separated from casein in the milk, or can be formed as a byproduct from the cheese making process. Okay. Whey protein is a complete protein because it contains all nine essential amino acids. It contains all nine essential amino acids. So, if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, you might not be able to get all complete proteins because plants do not have all nine essential amino acids. So, you'll be eating a lot of different things to make up the same as whey protein or as a chicken breast, for example. So, for someone who's vegan, you want to be looking for a protein powder that is not whey because obviously it's milk based, but has all nine essential amino acids. Okay, that's just, that's just a little side note. So, Whey protein, if you consume it, you'll be getting all nine essential amino acids, which is great for muscle building, muscle recovery, preventing muscle loss. So, the differences between the whey proteins. So, once the whey is filtered, you get the whey protein, and it is broken up into different types. The three most common types found in a lot of protein powders are your concentrate, hydrolysate, and isolate. Those are the fancy words I spoke about. What is whey concentrate? Whey concentrate is the most basic form of whey, and this is why it's the cheapest. Number one, it hasn't been processed. Number two, it contains the most amounts of sugar, carbohydrates, and fats. It's not low in protein, it's very high in protein. Per four to five grams of protein, uh, carbohydrates, you get 25, 20 to 25 grams of uh, protein, depending on the company, depending on where you're getting the protein from. But you wanna avoid it if you're lactose intolerant, or if you have digestive problems or like IBS and things like that um, your body might not appreciate it so you want to steer clear of lact uh, co whey concentrate because it contains the lactose okay then you have whey isolate oh, wait 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 let me retract whey concentrate is also the tastiest and creamiest just so you guys know you get whey isolate then which is whey that is further processed and um, because of that a lot of the fat and the carbohydrates are removed uh, most companies will have 0 to 0 0.2 grams of carbohydrates in the whey protein isolate and because of this it's thinner, it's easier to digest, it still contains all nine essential amino acids but it is 
some of them complain, can claim to be completely carbon fat free and if you're lactose intolerant or if you have some digestive issues you want to be using this protein because your body is able to process it better and absorb the entire protein. Then the last bit which is your whey hydrolysate. This is also known as hydrolyzed whey so it depends on where you are watching this from. Your whey protein might say this is hydrolyzed whey or hydrolyzed beef or beef hydrolysate or whey hydrolysate or hydrolyzed way whatever it says it's the same thing okay and basically it is the most processed or it is the it's further on in the um way processing process <laughs> um why it's so expensive it's the most expensive and why it's so expensive is because it's pre-digested a lot of the peptide bonds found between the protein or that that so peptide bonds hold protein together and a lot of these are broken down. So essentially you have a pre-digested protein. So the body's able to absorb it a lot faster because you have free amino acids. People who are lactose intolerant want to stay on this. They want to be using hydrolyzed whey because your body absorbs it like, like that, basically. Um, unfortunately, it comes with the side effect that it is very bitter. Amino acids themselves are bitter. So if you're going to go for hydrolyzed whey, you want to look for a flavor that is really strong. So something like like chocolate hazelnut or like a custardy flavor. Um, something that will mask the bitterness of the amino acids. And you'll, you'll you really, you will enjoy this, okay? So those are the three different types of proteins that I'm gonna be dealing with. The isolate, concentrate, and hydrolysate. And I hope I kind of explained um, the differences enough for you guys. If you need more information, please just you know, send me a message on Instagram or send me an email. My email and everything is down below in the description. Um, but I want to now explain or show you the different powders that I use. And when I use it, maybe that will help you make a decision on when you should use yours. Okay, so let us go to my protein stand thing that I've got going on. Okay, so I am standing in a different location and the reason I'm standing is because I need to actually pick up the proteins and it's just easier to do when I'm standing, okay? So I hope you guys, I hope you guys are okay with that. Anyway, um, I've got three different types that I use and they're all from NPL. I've got your whey protein blend, which is this one over here. So for those that can see this, it's called platinum whey protein. And basically this is a blend of isolate, concentrate and hydrolysate. So you get all three proteins and it gives you 23 grams of protein per serving with the protein or with the carbohydrate content found in the concentrate. So because this comes from a very good company in America, Laprina Nutrition, um, the concentrate itself does not contain that much carbohydrate or fats. So per 23 grams of protein, you're getting a lot of it as isolate. Um, easy to digest for someone who's lactose intolerant. Um, you've also got digestive enzymes in here, but your carbohydrate content is sitting at two to three grams. So it is very low. This is, if it, I would use this if you're okay with digestion, if you are not lactose intolerant, if you are, if you are someone who has milk regularly or cheese and things like that in their diets, this is the protein for you. I'm gonna show you guys a game. It's called platinum whey. And um, I use this or alternate it if I'm in my off season, which I currently am, so I, I'll be using this because it tastes a lot creamier. Um, it's a lot easier to, to get down when I'm eating or, or drinking this. I usually have a pre-workout. Um, you can have a post-workout. Basically, anywhere around your workout so that your body gets a rapid absorption of protein. This digests within an hour and a half max and other proteins will take longer. So for example, casein digestive, over eight hours, where after and before you train, you want something that's quick and easy to digest. Then moving on, we've got whey isolate. 100% whey isolate. This is the protein that I spoke about as being further processed. Um, it contains zero grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fat, and because of this, when I'm on prep, I'll be using the whey isolate, okay? I'll be using this pre-workout or you can use it post-workout, digests almost immediately. Um, this tastes really good because it's chocolate hazelnut flavor, but a lot of proteins that I have tried are really watered down and um, they don't taste that good, okay? Just being honest, isolate is watery. Then I've also got a meal replacement. This is called Whey Slim. This has very, it's very high in fiber, but it's low in carbohydrates. So the fiber is what considers it or makes it a meal replacement okay it keeps you full 
It's also got collagen in, which is another form of protein, and it's gonna help with your hair, skin, and nails. So for someone who wants to lose weight or someone that's looking for a meal replacement, you're gonna go for that or Diet Pro. Um, when you're looking for meal replacements, you're looking for something that's high in fiber, that's not too high in carbohydrates because Again, you don't want to be having your calories in liquid form, you want to be eating them so that you're fuller for longer and that's going to help with weight loss. For this, you can have it as breakfast, you can make it in a smoothie, you could have it again pre-workout or post-workout. Um, if you're on the go a lot, you want to have something like this because you're not going to be getting your protein intake in. Um, so yeah, that's basically the three proteins that I use and when I use them. So hopefully it gives you an idea of when you could be using the proteins yourself. Um, but that's it for this Wise Words on a Wednesday with Craig. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to smash the like button. And um, until next time, peace.